Hello everyone, my name is Sharun Chetty. I'm the technical lead for tracking and planning component of Rational Team Concert. Today I will be doing a short demo of the program board feature which we delivered in 6061. The previous release 606 had a technical preview of this feature. If you have seen the technical preview, you would notice a considerable amount of change in what you see today. The program board provides visualizations that you can use during program iteration planning and these visualizations show dependencies in a specific scope such as across teams. You can read more about this at the references mentioned on this slide on the Scaled Agile Framework website. In simple words, program board covers program and team levels. The program board can be used in the context of any process template. The terminology used here might appear to be safe specific, but can be applied to non-safe process as well. For example, a program is nothing but team of teams. The program board has the following key value propositions. It's actionable. You can change the target iteration, teams, or owner of the work items. You can add remote dependencies. It is flexible. The board can be scoped to any parent iteration and its immediate children. You can select different combinations of parent-child work item types. It's consumable. It's based on real-time data. So who would benefit from a program board? As shown in this picture, a number of people will benefit from the board. The board is typically used throughout the planning and execution process. You can use the board in the context of any process template that was used to create the project area. To open the program board, click on Plans, Program Board. The program board shows parent type work item types that have one or more child type work items for all parents that are planned for the parent iteration or its immediate children. Parent work items are displayed in the team area lanes in the child iteration box when the child work items are filed against that team area and planned for that child iteration. The board shows any dependencies between the child work items. The preferences are shown as a wizard on an unconfigured board. If the board is configured, the preferences are displayed as a window with tabs. The team area section shows the team area hierarchy. The iteration section shows the iteration hierarchy and you can select iterations from a non-project timeline as well. When you select a parent iteration, the selection includes all immediate children. You can select include backlog to include the backlog iteration for the timeline. You can select any number of iterations. Work item types are shown in a list view for parent and child work item types. When you select a parent work item type, the default child work item type that is configured for the parent work item type in the project area is selected. You can configure the display options in the preferences. The display options enable you to show different dependency links to filter work items that have no dependency and to filter learning milestone dependency. The styling, the color schemes and the icons that are shown on the board have been improved drastically. The work item box that is shown in the table shows the work item ID. There is no limit on the number of work items that are shown in a cell. The iteration headers now include the start and end dates. In the parent work items container, the summary field is also shown in addition to the ID. The work item container in the table provides an icon to view child items and dependencies.
you can see the dependencies between the learning milestone and child work item types for the selected iterations and teams on the board. If the learning milestone is planned for backlog and backlog is included in the program board, then it would also include the learning milestones that have been planned for the backlog. As I had mentioned earlier, you could filter out the learning milestone dependencies in the preferences. Note that the learning milestone row is available only if the process template has that work item type. For example, in a non-safe template, you will not see this row. The order of the iteration columns is based on their end date. If an iteration does not have an end date, it is shown in the order of its selection in the preference view of the board. The board has fixed column and row table headers when you scroll to see additional data. The details of the work item is shown when you hover on the colored portion of the work item box in the board. The styling, the icons and the information that is shown in the hover was improved. This slide describes what determines the display of parent work item type work items in the table. The parent work item type work item without dependencies is shown only in the lane where its last child is delivered. If the iterations do not have end dates, the parent work item type work item is not shown. If the last iteration where the child is delivered is not included on the board, the parent work item type work item is not shown on the board. If the parent work item type work item has children with dependencies, the parent work item is shown for the dependency. If the parent work item does not have any children, the parent work item is not shown in the table. The board preferences can be used to modify the configuration at any point. In this board, I have two empty columns and I want to remove it. So I'm just unselecting the sprint 4.1 and 4.4. As I had mentioned earlier, you can also use the display options to see what types of dependency you want to highlight on the board. Say I have a lot of dependencies and I just want to look at the uh, dependencies which puts my feature at risk. So I can uncheck the other types of dependencies and save this. So then it just shows me only those dependencies that are red. When you hover on the dependency lines, it gives you a clear direction of from where it is starting and where it ends. The view ch uh, child and dependencies gives you uh, the details of all the children for the uh, parent item, its uh, dependencies. You can add and remove dependencies here. An information icon is shown next to the feature work items in the window that shows child work items and dependency. When you hover on the icon, it displays details about how the items are displayed in the window. An information icon is shown on every item in the window that is not part of the window context from which it was opened. Information text is shown if the board is empty and does not have any parent work items. The introduction page in the preference wizard for an unconfigured board is also shown in the window of the configured board. This describes the scope, field, the work item view, the table and how the items are displayed.
the board provides a legend that describes the different annotations used on the board. See the work item 349690 for more details on the feature. To provide any feedback on the feature, add a comment in the work item or contact the SAFE team. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.